Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Square Guide showing you how you can complete the time trials between May 20th and May 26th. As always, we're starting off with the RC time trial where you're going to need an RC Bedita 4 in order to be able to do it. It's one and a half million dollars and you need an Arena War Garage for it, so consider it if you want to make $100,000 relatively easy every single week. As for the time trial itself, there's really only a few things you have to keep in mind when doing it. First of course is going to be the pedestrians, sometimes they're a little bit in awkward spots, so definitely keep an eye out and try to avoid them. If you hit them, it's probably best to restart to save yourself a bunch of hassle and the stress of having to catch up. Another thing you want to keep in mind is this jump right here. Make sure to land on all four wheels and don't get as unluckily as I do with that pedestrian walking there. After that there is another bit in the main power plant itself where you're going to have to be careful for the sides of the road here because if you hit them too hard your RCB will start flipping out because it's a light vehicle and well as you can see by the sheer size of it it's very tiny and it's probably not going to handle those bumps very well so try to avoid those large curbs and all that stuff to make sure that you stay on all four wheels after that and through the power station and once again you want to be careful that you don't go too fast don't be too hesitant with like taking your time and breaking down a little bit so you make sure that you don't fly through the corners because you don't have enough space and if there's one thing about the power station time trial is that you're lacking space like you could see over there i took that corner a little bit too wide a little bit too fast and i was uh, suffering from it of course in my case i had about 10 seconds to spare you might have a little less to spare but it should be totally fine overall Moving on to the regular time trial, this one, again, ironically enough, you're going to have to be careful for the pedestrians when you start out. You can always start with a bit of a wheelie to get a bit of a speed boost, so you can start off well. If you see a pedestrian heading your way or a car, then obviously start wheeling and make sure that you gain control back over your bike. Ironically enough, actually, if you happen to have a Manchester Scout, that might actually not be a bad idea either. Primarily because of how much control you have, even while wheeling. So if you have one, then, you know, consider it. It also has a higher top speed than the Betty 801 that we are using. So again, consider it if you have the money for it or find it worth it. Overall, it's a pretty fun bike anyways. Regardless, the time trial itself, like you could tell by the footage on your screen, there is a lot of straight roads happening here. After the bit on the highway, you want to make sure to slow down a little bit, but not braking too hard, so you still maintain your speed. After that, you want to take this road up here, and again, keep an eye out for traffic ahead of you to make sure you don't run into any issues after that just try to cut this corner here and then it's time to head up to the hill because the bad 801 doesn't necessarily have a great strong suit when it comes to off-roading a Shatoro might also be a decent option for especially this bit here lean forward on your bad 801 as you are going through this to gain some additional speed and try to pop a wheelie or two when you see a straight line for some additional speed too this one is really about keeping your speed in check and not going too fast considering that you're also on a mountain and the likelihood of you falling off is definitely there before i end the video i definitely want to give some additional tips for the highway bit as you can tell i'm staying on the left side but it doesn't necessarily mean that you will be in the clear from the get-go as you could tell by the red car that came from the left there there is always going to be someone trying to screw you over and like that car too so for that reason, always try to look ahead of you instead of at your bike and what it's doing. Primarily because if you do so, you can see oncoming traffic and you can take calculated risks to avoid them or, well, hit them, I guess, if you're really unlucky. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of luck involved in this one. I have tried it with a car as well and it is possible, but I'd personally say a bike will probably do you much better because of the traffic being less likely to start magically staring into you because somehow, someway, they thought it was a really good idea to go from the left side of the freeway all the way to the right in a matter of seconds because you just happened to drive there. All jokes aside for a second though, that was it for this one. If you liked it or found it useful, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more, and if you really like what to see on the channel, consider becoming a member like Chloe, Robert, A Loose Fire, Captain Price, and Dr. Strange Love. Join them and all the other fellow members by clicking the join button down below. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all later.